How's it going? Good, good. It's been a while, huh? Yeah, so the last time we were together, um, we were both testifying before the Supreme Court on the proposed ADKT amendment to Supreme Court Rule 210 mm -hmm. regarding pro bono services. So how did it go? <laughs> yeah, well, first of all, the testimony was fantastic. And oh, I thank you. Thank you for that. But yeah, no, it, um, it was adopted by the court. So that amendment- I figured it would be. <laughs> yeah, that amendment that we testified on behalf of providing CLE credit for pro bono service mm -hmm. was adopted. And so I'm happy to say, I think it'll go into effect in mid-March. That's awesome. Yeah. And so, um, as I remember, we were advocating to get um, one CLE credit for every four hours mm -hmm. of pro bono work, but I understand what was actually adopted was a little different. Can you tell yes. me how they amended it? The rule as adopted, the amendment, is going to provide one general CLE credit for every three hours of pro bono service. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it caps, That's even better than what we were asking it's for. It's better than what we were asking for, so and it caps out at four general CLE credits. Okay. Which would correspond to 12 hours of pro bono, which is pretty typical on the low end of a, of a pro bono case. So if I take on a pro bono case, which I'm gonna do anyway, <laughs> and I do at least 12 hours, I get all four CLE credits, which apply to my annual requirements. A absolutely, so it's really, a huge boon for busy attorneys because you get your pro bono. Absolutely. You get four hours of CLE. Yes. You don't have to pay for the CLE. It's free. We like free. <laughs> and let, right. We handle the reporting at Legal Aid. All you have to do is report your hours to us. Oh, that's great. You can do it through Ask a Lawyer. You can do a few Ask a Lawyer sessions, get up to 12 hours, get your four credits. And so it really streamlines and kind of facilitates the whole, I think, CLE balance and trying to work that in try to get your pro bono hours, do all your, your, your paying work and everything else. Um, plus you get a lot of educational opportunities beyond just the work, which is incredibly educational. As, oh, know, of course. That, and, was, that was the top of your, your And testimony. I think that's why the Supreme Court recognized that experiential learning and the value of that. And so is it just Legal Aid Center that is kind of facilitating this program or if I'm in a rural area, how can I, can I also get CLE credits there? How does mm -hmm. that work? Yeah, if you do pro bono service through any of the five legal aid service providers in Nevada, which receive IOLTA money, okay, um, or any other pro bono opportunity that's provided by a governmental organization, such as the Office of Military Legal Assistance through the Attorney General's office, or something like that, that it's, that's conducted in partnership with one of these legal aid providers, that service will count toward this CLE crediting. Um, rule uh, rule amendment which I think you know and plus you if you're doing if you're doing pro bono with us you get access to our CLEs which right. are free face-to-face -face live CLEs but you get those for free as well so the, the just getting your foot in the door getting that pro bono service that case opens up all this that kind of really takes care of your CLE for you yeah well I, I have to say I'm so excited and proud that the Supreme Court recognized the value of pro bono work and the learning component that comes with that that Legal Aid Center was right on the forefront of that battle, pushing for this initiative. And as someone who does a ton of pro bono work, I would do it anyway. But I'm really happy to be to get this added benefit, and I hope that other lawyers will, you know, be incentivized to do the same. It's a huge achievement for us, and I really want to thank you for making that case so eloquently to the court. Oh, I think you. it made a big difference. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks, Noah. Yeah.